fuzzy here at Baxter Cycle. Look what we found today. 1959 XLCH Sportster. Third year they made them. XLCH Extra Large Charlie Horse. But look at that. Anodized covers. Case. The bike had a little oil spot underneath it when I found it in the other room. It's got a four-speed box. Brake on this side. Right-hand shift. This one has an oil filter added to it. Drum brakes. Look at the chrome on those wheels. Like I said, four-speed box. Magneto. I don't know what kind of carburetor that is. It says Zenith on it. I don't, wow, what a beautiful thing. Nice paint, I'm sure it's been repainted. 37 on the clock. What a good looking machine. You don't find these very often. Wow. These original ones did not have oil filters at all. This one's had an oil filter adapted to it. No battery. Just a little spot right there. What a gorgeous bike. Absolutely gorgeous. There's the store cat. You know, it's got the magneto, so no cone. The shifter coming out of here, right side shift. I saw this thing and just came apart. Just beautiful bike. These always leak right here. This is actually 10. These weren't cast. The newer ones are cast, but uh, Anyway, brake lever, brake switch. Very clean. This must not get ridden. I love the spindly forks. These bikes were under 400 pounds, I believe, and a 50 horsepower, 50 or 60 horsepower, something like that. It would be a real race machine. Yahoo! What luck, huh? Look at that front brake. It's got this tube down here. Adjuster right there for the brake, drum brake. Cable. You wonder how those brakes ever stopped these things. The answer is they hardly, they barely didn't. Little dampener control down here. Look at that horn. Got the Harley wings. Absolutely beautiful. I love this part of the all these old sportsters. Isn't that gorgeous? Did a little research on this. The uh, differences. Well, first off, they only made about 2,000 or less of these 59 XLCH bikes. The uh, Differences between the XLH and the XLCH was the fuel tank had the peanut, you know, the smaller peanut tank. The original XLCH they came without the headlight, so they were added. Headlight and taillights were added. They got the eyebrow with the smaller headlight. The uh, primary covers, instead of being cast, were aluminum. Being cast aluminum are uh, stamped steel. You can see that right there. Uh, there was no battery. It had a magneto, no coil, and it had a bag, had a magneto. And uh, it had the horseshoe oil tank, which this one has. Uh, the carburetor kind of found a couple different things on this. Should either be a linkered DC carburetor. Um, later they were replaced with a Tillerson, but I don't think that was until the 60s. The uh, weight of these motorcycles, 
that's kind of an interesting thing too. I found uh, everything from um, 400 pounds up to 550 pounds. Uh, very common average is, uh, I think they're saying uh, about 400, 450 pounds. Top speed, about 115 is what they're claiming. So, you know, 100, 115, something like that. Anyway, it's a beautiful motorcycle. I found this at Baxter Cycle, Marnie, Iowa. You all get a chance to go there. Do it. Um, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy. Get out there and ride. Yahoo!